Contact 7 getting results after an e-scooter driver plowed into a man in a wheelchair and just kept going. To make matters worse, the company responsible for replacing that broken wheelchair gave the man the runaround. Until he reached out to Contact 7 and Gary Bro joins us now. Gary, he is finally getting a response. Yeah, that's exactly right. Ed Nader tells me he has spent dozens of hours calling and emailing this company. The price that they were charging them would have left him with a $30,000 bill. Well, within hours of Denver 7 emailing the company, they dropped that price in half. Getting around has been much harder for Ed Nada since his crash last month. Had to pay some guy on the street five bucks to help me get out of the snow. Nader's front wheel wobbles. His left tire bald. Trying to get to drive right. He says these problems are only getting worse each day, and that terrifies him. Yeah, I'll be stuck in bed at that point once this machine quits operating. New video shows Nada crossing the street at Denver Pavilions when a man riding an e-scooter hits him on the sidewalk. The rider stopped, but only for a second, and then took off. Since that day in early October, Nada has been trying to get his wheelchair replaced. They gave me these quotes for replacing my chair that were double what the chair originally cost. The company New Motion gave Nada a bill for a new chair totaling $60,000 and another bill of $44,000 just to repair it. His insurance would only cover $30,000 of it. And they weren't answering me until basically I reached out to you guys and now I'm starting to get a response. We reached out to the company for answers. They told us the quotes provided were provided at build charges and error. Within hours, New Motion sent Nada a new invoice of 28000 for a new chair. And now things finally seem to be working out. And it's working now because of the effort you guys made. Otherwise, I'd still be stuck with a $60,000 bill. And Nada says it will take several months to get a replacement. We, meanwhile, though, he did file a police report for the e-scooter rider who hit him. A surveillance video was able to get these images. And the man has not been arrested at this time. If you do recognize him, please call Denver Police. Reporting live here in the studio, Gary Broad, Denver 7.